Mr James Gray. Mr Speaker. Uh, local authorities and communities should plan for sustainable development in their area, taking a visionary and strategic approach, uh, I suggest, to be responsive to the market, uh, re using robust evidence as to the number of homes required. James Gray. Mr Speaker, developers across England seem to be taking advantage of what they believe to be a policy vacuum in this area to press ahead with very large-scale uh, planning applications. For example, my own area, the 5,000 around Chippenham, the whole of Swindon seems to be moving westwards to engulf some of the villages, and 280 in Malmesbury. Would the Minister not agree with me that it should be local people who decide how many houses they want, where they should be, taking account of the course of homelessness and all that, but nonetheless, uh, overall, looking, overall looking in an area like mine, and uh, preserving the Green Belt, preserving the countryside, and preserving our way of life? Honourable Gentleman. Minister. Well, of course, my, my honourable friend is absolutely right. Taking account of the housing needs survey so that uh, homelessness and affordable housing is taken into account, it should, of course, be set by a process of local uh, decision making. The days of top down targets, which led to the lowest house building since 1923, are over. And that's official because I can tell honourable members opposite that uh, just a couple of days ago, the National House Building Council announced there had been an 18 per cent jump in the number of home starts, the applications to start building homes. Bottom up is starting to work.